Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Grid Life Motorsports and Music Festival at Gingerman Raceway here in South Haven, Michigan. This is one of my favorite events of the year, if not my favorite event of the year. It's Time Attack, HBDE, it's drifting, and then it is a total shit show of a music festival over there. And uh, I'm always out here doing a couple track one takes, and so this is uh, a neat opportunity. I've seen this car here a couple times uh, every year, and I've always wanted to have a go. This is a Spec E46, so you've heard of Spec Miata, Spec E30 racing. This is Spec E46, and so as these E46 BMWs have gotten uh, cheaper, uh, they make actually apparently a pretty good little spec racer. So this is a, a E46 330 uh, BMW coupe. You can run a sedan or a coupe. Uh, this one makes uh, 220 wheel horsepower and weighs 2,850 pounds as per spec for the series. It has a manual gearbox. Uh, it has the spec coilover uh, suspension setup, uh, but it has to run a stock powertrain. Obviously, it's a full cage. This is a race car uh, and apparently is quite fun to drive. And uh, it's on a Toyo Proxy Double R Slick tire. Um, but power steering, power brakes. Um, this one's owned by a gentleman named Bill who is a, a bigger dude like me and uh, this car is really, really comfortable to sit in. I could definitely uh, see myself doing uh, either a sprint or an endurance race in a car like this and uh, now they're about to send me out on the track and uh, we're going to do a couple uh, little hot laps here and uh, see what this thing's all about. Gingerman. Spec E46, baby. This should be a lot of fun. Track is clear, so they're kind enough to give me one clear lap uh, to myself to get used to the car before they send out the rest of the traffic. Let me feel the brakes out a little bit. I got slicks, but they're cold so far. That's fifth. All right, so when he said the shifter was kind of vague, what he meant was I could end up in fifth by accident instead of third, and that's what just happened, but it's all good. We're gonna get some heat into these uh, Toyo slicks. Oh, well, for, for ice cold, they're sticking pretty good. Depending on who's doing your work for you. 
five seems about right for a really good one and you know not super cheap but reasonable I really like the tendency towards mild oversteer and I'm hitting the rev limiter just there I could probably be in fourth but get down it's a little slippery at the back come on get some heat in those tires buddy Fun to drive though, it's lively. It's got really good uh, you know weight distribution. I don't know the exact number, but when it breaks free, it doesn't break free in an unpredictable and sketchy way. It, it breaks free in a kind of a nice way actually. Just a bit at the back, and there's my green flag. They're so nice to give me this extra little bit of getting to know you time with these cars. And now I'm in traffic, so now we're gonna have to dice it up with some, uh... wow, I really like that balance at the mid corner on power. It's beautifully balanced. I'm gonna leave it in third here instead of going to second, and yeah, that, that seems to be the way. 4,000 RPM coming out of that corner. It's got good torque. It's got the torque for it. What a fun little car, man. I get this. It makes a lot of sense. Look at that. Just dances beautifully. You don't have to do big counter steers, but just a little bit of counter steer goes a long way in this thing. Lovely, lovely car. I turned in early there, that wasn't pretty. Oh, this is very good. That off camber entry there, you really get some oversteer happening. on the front straight there. I'm not getting as hard into the brakes as I probably could. Beautiful little car though. This corner I'm taking like a bitch, frankly. I can even just say, I can come out and say that I'm taking that corner like a bitch because I am. But the balance is really nice. The inputs are really good. Pedals making it nice and easy to heel toe. Shifter is mostly direct. Short shift fourth there. Stay flat through the kink. This is very fun. Really good, really good. This is the owner's first race car. He, st he started by learning to drive on this car, so. Brakes. Now I'm getting into the brakes a bit. Short shift fourth there. That seemed like a good time to short shift fourth. It does make you work for it though. It doesn't just hand it to you, it makes you work. Good times. Good times. Here's that oversteer.
It has that tendency to oversteer, but it does it in a, in a nice, predictable, and fun way. That's not how you take that corner, sir. That's, uh, that's gone quite wrong for him. Oh, this is very good. I'm so glad I asked Bill to drive this. This is wonderful. What a great little race car this is. I get it 100%. And now that I'm really getting into the brakes, the brakes are good too. Here at the short shift. Beautiful little car, huh? Oh, blew that apex. That wasn't pretty. Don't judge me on that. That wasn't pretty. thank Bill enough for letting me have a go on the track in this car that was a that was an absolute riot what a great little vehicle this is man if you want to if you want to get into some racing hey guys um, there is not a lot of uh, wow I mean there are there's plenty of angles to go you know but uh, as a reasonably affordable uh, basically uh, entry-level race car that is uh, that is manageable at speed uh, but not you know a kind of an old POS you know, this still looks modern. It's still got the right, uh, the right feel and the right sound, and uh, and it's easy to drive, and it's a, it's just a ton of fun. So uh, thanks to Bill and uh, Grid Life Motorsports and Music Festival is a really great place to be this weekend. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch more videos coming to you. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.